So we adhere to an abstinence-focused um, treatment approach as opposed to abstinence-based. Um, there is an ongoing debate as to whether uh, abstaining from drug and alcohol or being clean and sober is the, uh, the only outcome that we should expect from clients in treatment. And I think we've learned that the answer is there are many outcomes that are predictive of improved quality of life and successful treatment. Um, so um, we have subtly shifted from, from uh, a focus that is solely on whether someone is clean and sober to uh, a myriad of outcomes, whether someone is uh, homeless and now housed, whether someone is unemployed and now um, employed if the patient was estranged from family and now is connected to family, if the uh, patient is medication compliant um, versus not having been medication compliant in the past. These are all positive outcomes that increase the client's uh, quality of life and uh, are more likely to keep the client engaged in treatment for longer periods of time and provide better and more successful outcomes. Uh, I call that a recovery-oriented system of care, and at LA Cotta, we embrace that recovery-oriented system of care uh, at the exclusion of the, the debate over whether we're abstinent-based or harm reduction, and we like to call that abstinent-focused treatment.